Artificial intelligence, or AI, has made its way into our everyday lives, whether we know about it or not. In fact, AI has been around since the 1950s. When it was first coined, the idea was to make machines solve problems and actually learn. Technological advancements have seen AI catapulted into technology discussions and integrated with our everyday lives through wearable technologies and the building of smart nations. In this episode of Dentsu Aegis Unboxed, we'll be looking at AI and how it's transforming itself, but also how it's transforming our lives as we move into the digital economy. So the key things when you think about artificial intelligence is the word any task, uh, you can remember, and I think importantly, it can adapt its responses. And last but not least, it must be able to do this repeatedly. And I think simply put, it means a machine must actually have consciousness of its environment. When you ask Siri for the weather, Uber search pricing. So again, these are all things that kind of exist in your day-to-day -day lives and actually powered by extremely powerful machine learning algorithms. Uh, we're soon rolling out Microsoft Teams around the DEN organization to help collaboration. And the T-board that's in Microsoft Teams is actually a version of an NLP system which uh, stands for Natural Language Processing and is actually a big part of a lot of the work done in, in uh, machine learning to drive machines to understand language. It's surprisingly extremely prevalent in actually our day-to-day -day living. Uh, so it's not as remote and not as detached as we assume it to be. Anything that can be automated will be automated over the next couple of years. There is predictions that 47% of all jobs in the current economy will be automated. Um, and that's a big deal because 16% jobs are created every decade. Given the amount of transformational power that AI potentially has for our network, and given how diverse all our markets are around the world, we're putting together a bit of a global entry strategy into providing AI services as then. And that means that regardless of your office composition in terms of staff and capabilities, you'll be able to provide value using AI services. So that's coming out pretty soon and I'm really excited about it. We all have an opportunity in the space of data. However, it is not about owning it, but leveraging it. Whilst it's true that the likes of Google, Amazon and Facebook own only a fraction of the world's data, it is also true that a much higher share of usable and analyzable data and therefore a higher share of data analytics. I think AI is not just a technology. It is like water or fuel or electricity that can be used in so many fields. We as technologists should be the leader in identifying the proper use of AI for our clients so that they could be the leader in this disruptive market. And in terms of creativity, Right now, we've got so many tools that can be used to generate interesting visuals and artworks. So I think it would be very, very helpful if we, as the industry practitioner, to make use of AI in our actual work. Creativity, consumer insights, and the ability to drive business are three key areas that we need to focus on. Uh, I often call it the creative geek is what we need to be. Someone who can actually look at the big picture, but be able to provide a concrete path to realization of that idea. Because clients today want results that move their business and we need to give them the confidence that we are the right partners for that. We applied that to the web analytics data of an e-commerce client and the result of that was that the ROAS, which is the prime metric at which the client evaluates their campaigns, went up by 37%. Uh, and this was also while maintaining, in fact, actually enhancing the scale at which they operated on. Data is a raw ingredient. It's an unwieldy beast. Very, very hard to handle and actually very hard to extract anything meaningful from it. So at the center, what we want to do is, when you have this as a raw ingredient, we add to it data science capability, technology capability, and actually lots and lots of innovation and creative thinking. And we see it now today, and that's really where you know, data is really going to be transformed to kind of meaningful insights. So that as strategists, as planners, you can actually leverage that and spend the right time right, to actually craft the strategies. 